So I want to show you how you can use MATLAB as a calculator. So you can use uh, simple arithmetic, as I showed you before, and you can uh, use various symbols. Uh, this one is for raising a number to some exponent. So this is 7 to the power 4. You can also use MATLAB functions. So if you want to take the square root of a number, that's SQRT, and then a number between parentheses. Um, so this is how you get the square root. Or you can use uh, the sine function. For example, this is the sine of a half pi, which uh, returns 1 as the value. I can take the, uh, the log base 10 of some value, like 10, uh, which gives you 1. Now, to know what functions MATLAB has available, it's useful to use the uh, help uh, function. Uh, you can invoke the uh, documentation uh, on various MATLAB uh, functions in, in various ways. One is by typing in some keyword, uh, some MATLAB keyword or function, into this box, and it would returns you various options. Uh, so here I want to read about the sign function, so I click on this. A help window comes up, uh, and your computer this might look uh, a little different. Um, so I can read about the sign function, that, that's useful. Uh, and I can also uh, browse various topics uh, over here. So this is about trigonometry. I can go to elementary math and read about the various ways in which MATLAB deals with uh, elementary math. Uh, so I can read about exponents and logarithms and look at the various functions that, that MATLAB has uh, predefined. Um, and I encourage you to use the help function uh, extensively um, to learn you know, what, what the possibilities are in MATLAB. Okay, so um, another important um, uh, aspect of MATLAB is, is uh, two sort of special outcomes. One is uh, infinity, so if I divide by zero, I get the infinity outcome which is represented as a special sort of uh, symbol in MATLAB. <clears throat> and there's another one. <clears throat> if you do 0 divided by 0, uh, that's not defined. And MATLAB returns NAN, which stands for not a number. <clears throat> this is a um, very useful uh, uh, symbol that uh, we'll return to when we discuss how to analyze uh, experiments. Uh, and how to represent missing data in experiments. You can use the NAN uh, symbol for that. Okay, now a couple of more uh, MATLAB uh, special commands. If you type in CLC, you can clear the command window. Another thing is if you use the cursor uh, keys, if you use cursor up, then you can bring up older commands. That's very useful. Um, especially if, if you have a long history of typing in these commands. Uh, MATLAB will, will record that history and you can easily bring it up uh, by using the, the cursor key. You can also provide partial input to MATLAB. For example, if I want to bring back one of the sign functions that I typed in, uh, but I don't quite know what I typed in, I only know it started with, with sign, I can type in SI or some partial input and then press the uh, cursor up. And it um, does a smart recall of the relevant uh, previous functions that I uh, typed in.